Hello, everybody. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. It is October 3rd. I just had to make sure. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I was like, oh, what was I going to say? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights. <laughs> I had a really nice weekend. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Hi, Deb. Who else is coming in here? I'm just going to wait for some people to get on and I'll ramble along. Ginger's here. Good evening. And Lisa, welcome. Uh, yeah. Go Packers. Woot, woot. We won. <laughs> That's awesome. I think we're Super Bowl bound. What do you think? Yeah. Cheese heads are going to the Super Bowl. We'll see, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a busy day today. We had Val and um, Jared and Haley over for breakfast, and Molly spent the whole weekend here. She loves her new bedroom. I will show you guys pictures. It's not quite done yet, but I will show you pictures when I get the rest of the furniture in. Hi, Aunt Janet. Yay! And I see Cindy's coming in. Woohoo! Uh, Mickey's here. So we had buttermilk pancakes and sausages for breakfast this morning, and then everybody left, and um, I did a little bit of work, and then Steve and I went and looked at a new camper. So we're kind of looking for a camper to put, I told you guys that I bought some property back in June, and we're looking for a um, bigger camper, maybe, to set on there or to leave at my mom's house and take my summer home down there. We call our new property South Park just because it's funny, and it is south of where my mom lives. <laughs> I wanted to call it the lake property. There's no lake. But within five miles, there's a lake. So it's kind of fancy, right? Hi, Marsha. So we it's been raining like all afternoon here, but we went and looked at a camper, and um, that was fun. Um, I thought it had two recliners in it with a couch and table and then a queen bed, but the recliners, the chair, they were chairs, they weren't recliners. And we really need like bunk beds or more sleeping space because the family keeps a growing. You know, Haley's having a baby. So we need something a little bit bigger. Hi, Denise from La Crosse. And we've got Melissa here. Thank you guys. Thanks, Melissa, for the share. I really appreciate that. So um, I wanted to give you guys a John update. John, Steve gave John some pears today. We're generous like that. We have a pear tree that makes like the biggest stinking pears and they are so good and juicy. They're just fabulous. Debbie says a new summer home. I know, right? Um, so Steve gave John a bunch of pears and he's going to take some pears down to his mom's house on Tuesday and, um, and he's going to go up north hunting. He didn't go last week. Remember I told you he was going hunting? He didn't go. Yeah, so he's going this week. Yay. Um, and what else? I do not have spiders in the tree at John's house. So John trimmed all the branches out last week. And Steve said today, I think John trimmed out all his spider branches because there's no spiders hanging from his trees in his front yard that I keep talking about, but there are spiders on the house. So giant, they're giant spiders on his house. So maybe I'll get to, I'll take a picture of those and share them. <laughs> Hi, Char from Missouri, and I see Kathy Showalter's on here, and Kathy Kirchner, welcome. So, um, yeah, John did a lot of tree trimming. Steve said he's been seeing him go up or leave. We don't know where he's going, but he's been leaving with fishing poles and ladders and stuff like that. So we think maybe his dad had a cabin up north someplace, and he's been going there, maybe fixing it up a little bit, and also fishing. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's a lot for John update, right? So things have been happening. <laughs> Yesterday, we went to the farmer's market in downtown Appleton. First time I was there all year. And oh my gosh, you guys, the flowers, <gasps> the dahlias. Um, they put them in pumpkins and there's beautiful bouquets and pumpkins. And I didn't buy any because Steve hates the flowers sitting on our island in our kitchen, which annoys me. So then he shoves them off someplace and then they just die. So I should have got some for right back there. I did get my um my fall decoration out. Can you see it right there? That's kind of covered up, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, 
Let's see. I got some cards in the way. But I did find that. I don't know where my pumpkins are. I've got all kinds of cute stuff, but I can't find it. I lost a picture that I usually hang up in my kitchen that's like this big. No clue where it is. It wasn't with the rest of the fall stuff. So I'll find it eventually. Hang on. I'm going to get us up on my iPad. I had that rolling here and then I forgot to keep it refreshed, I guess is a good way to put it. Oh, it says, what's on your mind? Nobody cares. Oh, there we go. <laughs> a stamp above. I was just watching a thing on 60 Minutes on Facebook. Oh, they're something else, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm glad they have a platform for us to play tonight. Um, What else? I told you about breakfast. I told you about the camper, the farmer's market. The kids were here. Molly has started playing flute. Well, she really hasn't started, but she's got a book and a flute. So she's going to take flute lessons. So I'm excited to hear that. No, I really am. I'm not like being, I am excited to hear it. So I hope that she will do very well with that. We have prizes to give away. Oh, and how about those Packers? I think I already said that, right? We have prizes to give away. There are three ways to win fabulous prizes with me. The first way is through commenting. So if you're new to me, or if you're not new to me, you wanna leave a comment so you'll get entered in a drawing to win a fabulous prize. And this is what's going out to my winner from my Facebook Live last Sunday. This is going to Lois Fireherm. I think that she told me that's how you say it, Lois Fireherm. And Lois sends me really neat emails. So I was happy when I drew her name. Yeah, the Packers won. Woohoo! I see Haley on here. And um, oh, I forgot to tell you the story about Steve. Steve fed Haley Hawaiian Punch, um, Jolly Rancher sucker stick things. Um, she ate some cotton candy from the farmer's market and some cheese curds. And Haley took her home and she proceeded to throw up red all over Haley and everywhere. Way to go, Steve. <laughs> no more Hawaiian punch. <laughs> it was pretty gross. <laughs> and Haley borrowed my shirt to wear because the shirt she was wearing was too warm. So she borrowed my shirt and then went home and then Val threw up. And she said she just took my shirt off before it happened. <gasps> oh, so thankful. It was my Silver Dollar City shirt. I would have not been happy, Haley. So way to go. <laughs> Holiday Rhinestones will be on their way tomorrow for Lois Fairherm. Fireherm. I think I said that right. Congratulations, Lois. Next up for sharing this video. Fed Val. <laughs> Haley says Fed Val. He fed Val all kinds of crap. Um... I have the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. This is for sharing my video. And there's some place on your screen right now if you're watching on Facebook that you can click on the share button. If you're watching later on YouTube, you can share it on there too. And I so appreciate you helping me out by clicking that share button because that'll get you in a drawing to win fabulous products. This one is going out to Lisa Meyer of Austin, Texas. Lisa, congratulations. You are going to be getting this fabulous embossing folder. And I also found some more paper pumpkin. Remember, somebody gave me a whole bunch of these sets from a paper pumpkin a year or two ago. I'm going to include this in with Lisa's prize. So, bonus. Next up, the way that you can win fabulous prizes is by placing an order with me. And... Oh, I said somebody's way behind. Debbie says, I am way behind. Well, that'll happen, Debbie. We're busy, right? People are busy. Um, for placing an order, I happen to have a delicate Dahlia stamp set. And this is going out to Carol Domkowski of Nina, Wisconsin. I'm so excited you won, Carol. Carol was in my stamp club, and she was also a team member with me for a very long time. And I miss her. I miss seeing her. She was just the sweetest. So... Congratulations to all my winners. I'm going to set these over here so I do not lose them. And, oh my gosh, you guys, we have some really cool cards to make tonight. I know this is going to be backwards, but when I turn my camera around, you'll be able to read it. This is the Sparkle of the Season stamp set. And 
Let's see. I've got a couple cards here that I made with it from my bingo last week. How about this one? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, gorgeous. We've got that um, wintry 3D embossing folder with all the snowflakes on the background there. And then we also made this one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. This is the Tidings of Christmas designer series paper. And then I put some little rhinestones down there. Mm-hmm. And as long as we're on bingo cards, we have the bright baubles. Yay, isn't that fun? I love these big sentiments and big baubles. We also made this one, just in case you guys missed it. Bingo registration is going to open up. Let me get my calendar out here. Um, on the 13th of October, we will be playing, doing a card class and bingo on the 27th of October. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, and then we have kind of a fancy inside too. This is that specialty, silver foil specialty pack of paper. I love it. And then I know lots of cards for bingo, right? Oh, I love this one. This is the welcoming woods with white snowflakes in the background. I stamped this right on the designer paper from the um, Tidings of Christmas and embossed it with white. I love this card. Okay, so we got off on a little tangent there, but who's going to complain about seeing pretty cards, right? I don't think anybody is. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get everything I loaded here. The first card that I am going to be making for you is gonna use a combination of the Sparkle of the Season and the Cutest Halloween because the Sparkle of the Season has Fall, it has Halloween, it has Winter, and I suppose you could even do Summer in here somehow, but it is gorgeous. The dyes are amazing, I love them. I'm also going to be using the 3D um, worn, is this called worn type? Time worn type. Time worn type, thank you. I have Jody here today. She is in town for a couple weeks from Indiana, so she came by to do some stuff, and she also designed one of the cards I'm gonna show you tonight, so I'm excited about that. But anyways, this is a really interesting folder, and I think you're gonna love it because I used it not only on the Halloween card, but the fall card that we're gonna make also. And we're doing, the Halloween card is just cute, like it's stinking cute. But then the um, the uh, fall card is, what was I going to say about it? Oh, a fun fold. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> and also the um, Christmas card is a fun fold too. So we're going to be making three cards tonight. I'm excited to show you those. All right, I'm just going to unload all my stuff. I'm watching your comments come in. Hi, Debbie from North Carolina, and I see Elaine is here tonight. Yay! Hang up my little cheat sheet there and get out all my bits and pieces. Set these over here so I don't lose them. Oh, and I have another Christmas card to share with you using the same fun fold. Lisa says, hi, Jody Peterson. Hi, Lisa. She says, hi, Lisa Nyland. Okay. I think I've got everything here. Let me make sure. Oh, there's a lot of bits and pieces here. Okay, I think we're ready. Are we ready to stamp? Is everybody ready? Did I forget anything? I don't think so. Um, don't let me forget to show you my mail. I have some mail to share with you. Some beautiful cards came in the mail, so that's fun. Oh, I know, I forgot to tell you where my mom is this weekend. My niece, who is 18 years old and the sweetest, kindest, most thoughtful person ever, bought my mom a... Um, boat trip down the Mississippi for her birthday. That was in April. So this is the weekend they planned on going. And so my mom and Emma are on a, um, I think it's a dinner tour boat, but one of those big paddle boat things. What are those called? The Mississippi paddle boats. Paddle. Um, going down the Mississippi tonight and then they're staying in Stillwater, Minnesota at some um, like almost a bed and breakfast type hotel. So I'm super excited. I told them lots of snaps. I need to see lots of Snapchats and they've been doing pretty good. So lots of fun there. All right, let's flip this baby around. Julie says she is ready. Uh, Carla's ready. Uh, Barb is not saying she's ready, but I'm sure she is. What about John? Charlene, I already gave a whole John report. You're going to have to watch from the beginning and catch that. There is a lot going on with John, just a lot. John is going to enjoy some pears that we gave him. We have the best pears. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. Okay, hang on. I got to get this thing moved around properly. 
Let me move this out of the way to make sure things are straight here because I hate it when my surface is crooked. Okay, does that look okay? It looks really dark over here. Let's get some more light in. Whoa, my light just fell. Hang on, you guys. It happens. I know. If you guys saw my setup, you'd probably laugh, and that's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm not a professional videographer, <laughs> but I love to stamp. <laughs> okay, cute Halloween designer series paper. Oh, I love this. And one of the things I love most about it is the black and white on the other side of the pretty prints. I just think that that's such a cool feature in our paper. So I have my envelope and that's where I'm going to get started tonight. So I've got a piece of this designer series paper. Don't you love this? It says boo all over. This is two and a half by six and I love to decorate my envelope flaps. Oh, I got to swipe on my thing. Oh, here comes all of my comments in. What happened to the Buffalo Bills? They lost. I hope they didn't lose. Somebody apparently likes them. I don't, they're not my team. <laughs> But I'm glad they have fans. Packers won today. Uh, yeah, I am a Packer fan. Big cheese head. Um, do we know where my scissors went? Oh, I found them. Thank you. Got ribbons stuck on them. All right. Let's keep, let's keep going here. Where did my comments go? They all just disappeared. Somebody says they love DSP, though. I saw that pop up. Oh, now they're coming in one at a time. What is happening? There they are. What did Haley just say? Jackie's here. Jackie, I'm glad you're here. Jackie says she's finally here. Here we go. Mary Stroman and Terry is here. There we go. Is that not just the cutest? I love this. I love doing that to my envelopes. Okay. Here comes all of our bits and pieces. So I've got basic black, gorgeous gray, bumblebee. I love these colors for Halloween. And then we have a basic black card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. Now, the Cardinals are undefeated, Deanne says. Yay! The Cowboys won too. Woohoo! Um, this is a great card layout for just about anything. So if you're not really into Halloween, I know everybody isn't, but if you're not, this is a really good layout for any type of card. You can switch out colors and, of course, designer paper and all the deals, the, all of them, to make it something different. This is Bumblebee, and I've already embossed it in the Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. And I like to use this for Halloween because I just think it's a little bit spooky looking. I hope you can see that. It's just a little spooky looking. There we go. Maybe some better lighting would be good. Yeah. So we've got this going on. Then I took a piece of the Boo Designer Series paper and I cut it two by four or five and a quarter. And we're just going to add that right to the front of our card. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that border of the bumblebee peeking out on the left hand side. Uh, let's see. We need to do some die cutting. And that's where, where did my stamp set go? Here's that sparkle of the season stamp set that is so very pretty. I love this one because I really love wreaths. I love to make stuff with the wreaths. So we are going to be pulling out all these dies. And um, I recently made something with this element. Oh, my Christmas cards. And I said, oh, this is like a tassel or something. Thank you guys for telling me it's really a broom. It's a broom. It's not a tassel, but you can use it for a tassel. So thanks for telling me that because I didn't realize it. You know, I don't know everything. I know a lot, <laughs> but not everything. Okay, so what I decided to do, I love this particular wreath shape for Halloween. So I am going to die cut that on Bumblebee, on Gorgeous Grape, and also on Black. And through the magic of TV, look how magical I am. I've already done it. So I've got all three of those here. Then let's see what else we're going to do. Oh, we're going to take our black and there's some little bats in here. Okay, we've got all kinds of little elements in here, but here's some little bat dies. One little bat die. 
we're gonna die cut a bunch of little bats. And I've already done that. And I've got, let's see, where's my little, here's my piercing mat. Let's get these up on here so you can see them a little better. I love this. You know what else I think that this reminds me of, these little star wreaths? Is like, um, I think that it would make a really charming and adorable baby card too. Plus Christmas, plus, you know, Halloween. But you could put this in either blue or pink or pastel colors and make a really, really cute baby card with this. So lots of opportunities. All right, next up, I'm going to, let's see, do I have a scrap here? Nope, I have a little half-inch banner. And then I'm going to grab a scrap of white, and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. I've got Gorgeous Scrape and Memento Black ink here. Yeah, it does look like Viking colors, doesn't it? Um, here we go. Okay. So we're going to stamp some ghosts. We're going to do three ghosts. Oh, let's see. Where's our punch? We're going to be using the um, Halloween punch. And I need to look at this to see how I'm going to be stamping my ghosts. Okay, so we're going to stamp our ghosts just like this. And just like that. And just like that. Okay, then the Highland Heather comes in for the solid ghost body. But we, if we were to stamp this on here, it's pretty dark. So I kind of like to stamp it off once. Okay, so we're going to stamp it off once each time. Put it on there. Stamp it off. And that just makes it oh so much lighter. Then I forgot to get out. By the way, this is from the cutest Halloween set. I forgot to get out the ghost's little face, which is stinking adorable. Here we go. And we'll get that mounted so we can give our ghost some character. Look at how cute they are, right? I just love these. This is my favorite image in that whole set is these cute little ghosts. Okay, then we are going to punch those out with our Halloween punch. This does cat faces pumpkins and the ghost. So you get a three for one here, which is really neat. And there we go. All right, here's our little ghost. There we go, aren't they cute? I just think they're so cute. All right, then I'll show you, just in case you're new and you haven't seen this before, here's the cats. And we have cat faces, ear inserts, solid cat face. We've got the pumpkins with different elements here. We've got the skeleton with the scary face. We've also got this where you can make him look like he's got a stitched mouth. Kind of like a scarecrow, right? But not really. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So here's all of these. Oh, we have to stamp our sentiment. And since we've got a lot of black going on on the front of this card, I thought I would use the gorgeous scrape for the happy Halloween. See if I can get it straight. Oh, I did really good. And then we've got an inside layer here. Move these all over. We've got an inside layer here. I'm going to put the boo strip right down here. But before, first, we are going to stamp a little trick or treat right here. Cute. And again, this is Highland Heather ink. We're using Gorgeous Grape on the front, but it's Highland Heather ink. And I just thought a little spider would be super duper cute. And then I've got my Stampin' Right marker to give my little spider a little web, just like that. Isn't that isn't it just sweet? I love this. I love doing stuff like this. I love decorating for Halloween too. I saw some really neat stuff at Costco. I didn't buy anything. But when I got out all my fall stuff, I bought this rusty old hollow pumpkin metal thing that is really, really cool and it's got lights inside of it. So I had that out on my front, front porch. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and share it with you. And I got a um, multicolored mom at Costco. They had some really nice stuff there. Okay, here comes our card. Ooh, I think I just heard Steve come in the house. He slammed the door. That's one thing I notice when Molly is here. She goes in and out of the house and just slams the door. The whole house shakes. Do your kids do that or grandkids? Because it's like, whoa, sister. 
<laughs> Calm down. <laughs> okay, so I might want to do a little ribbon. I hadn't really thought about that, but how cute would this be on here? A little bit of bling? I think that's a good idea. So before I put this layer on, or actually we'll just wrap it around the whole thing. I'm going to put this on. Now, when I've got an embossed layer, I kind of like to go around the whole outside edge because sometimes it'll, um, what do you call that? It'll be like buckled on the edges. And if you put a little bit of glue all around the outside edge, it'll lay down nice and flat. You won't have any wavy things going on. Then you guys have to tell me now, this is where you're going to come in. I am going to put my purple one, my black one, and we're just going to kind of stack them together. They're offset just a little bit. And my yellow one, is that too much? Do you think I should maybe only use the black and the purple? Or should I put the bubble bee in there? You tell me what you think. Now, while you're doing that, I am going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to decide where we're going to put our little happy Halloween. And I'm thinking right down here. I am just going to cut that off square, just like this. And then I want to hear from you guys whether I should use all three wreaths or just the purple and black one. Let me get my, all three, I see all three, I see all three. We got lots of all threes. Let me get my dimensionals out of my basket of goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna need mini glue dots too. Lots of three, Elaine says use all of them. Who said no yellow? Somebody said no no yellow. Haley's watching. Haley keeps saying she's watching, but I don't understand that. Use all three. Okay, I'm getting a lot of all threes. I might use all three, you guys. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of my sentiment. And again, this is just a real simple little sentiment. And we're going to decide that that's going to go right here. I haven't made this card yet, you guys, so that's why I'm asking you things. Try black, purple, and bumblebee. Okay, I think that's a great idea. Because <laughs> I have black, purple, and bumblebee. <laughs> okay, what I like to do with these is just put a little bit of liquid glue on the bigger areas where the wreath is kind of crisscrossing each other. And I'm just gonna go like this. You gotta kind of hold it down till it sticks. Then I'm gonna go with the black. I'm gonna put the bumblebee on top because the card base under this is bumblebee. So I think it would just kind of stand out a little bit more if I did. And you wanna offset just a little bit so you're not just covering up what you have, right? We wanna see that purple coming through. And then we'll put the bumblebee on here. As long as we have them all cut out, we might as well use them all, right? Yeah. And we're just gonna offset that just a little bit again. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good. Yay! Okay, here we go with our little bats. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back. And we're going to just pop these all over. These are super cute. Again, this is in the die set with the um, sparkle of the season. Let's see, what are these? Hang on, I got some glue on my fingers. What are these dies called? Seasonal swirl dies. And you get a ton of them. Where's my other wreath? It's here someplace. Oh, here it is. You get a whole bunch of dies in here. As a matter of fact, you get 15. But we have, this is like a fall wreath. This is like a Christmas wreath. We have some little spriggy deals. We have this one that works for Halloween or babies, like I said. We have ornaments. We have holly leaves. We have fall leaves. We have pumpkins and bats and a tassel or a witch's broom. And then some elements that cut out, where'd my stamp set go, right here, that cut this, 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 and this out. So, and then we also have little bat stamps, we have little leaf stamps, little stars, and snowflakes. So, my gosh, and a pine cone, and sentiments, it just keeps going and going. All right, let's keep going with our bats here. Well, maybe we should put one on the inside. I think that's a great idea. We could stamp some bats in here, but I already have these bats die cut. So just feeling which way is the front, which way is the back. You can kind of feel that. <gasps> Love it. Okay, and we'll put one more on the front here. Someplace. 
should I do? Right here? Yep, right there. Isn't that cool? Okay, now we have these ghosts, and I wasn't really sure if that would be too much or if we should just go with the ghost. Do we just want one ghost? Do we want two ghosts? Do we want all three of them? Maybe we could do a little ghost right there and one right up there. What do you guys think? What do you like? I think I'm gonna put one right here. Let's see. What does that say? Do you like I do? Flip the plain cardstock over when gluing down. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Let's see. I'm gonna put that right on there. Oh, that's cute, right? Ooh, Jody just turned my fan on. It feels good. I'm kind of having somewhat of a little hot flash. <laughs> and then should we do one up here? Or do you like do you like just one? Okay, just one. All right, let me put this back on here. Well, I'll just stick it on here. And then we can use these ghosts for something else. Do we want to put one on the inside? Like this? What do you think? I think that's a good idea. Two ghosts. Okay, good. I'm, I'm hearing from people. Put one right there. Somebody said two ghosts. I kind of like two ghosts too. Like maybe one more right there. <laughs> so cute. Now, what I was gonna do with this ribbon, I don't know if I'm still gonna do it. Should I put the ribbon on here and really bling this baby up? That might be too much. What do you guys think? Ribbon tied right here or no ribbon? Let me know. How come it keeps saying Haley Fink is watching? It keeps saying that over and over, Haley. It's a Facebook thing. It's a Facebook thing? Why do they keep telling me the same person is watching? I Need one on the wreath. Yeah, I agree. I think that looks really good there. Okay, we're a little delayed, so I'm just going to wait on that. So far, this is what we have. Isn't that just stinking adorable? I think that we should actually, as long as we've still got our ink and stuff out here, I'm going to put a little ghost right here because I can. <laughs> and... There we go. And then the little ghost face that's so stinking adorable. No ribbon, I'm seeing lots of no ribbon. I see a yes ribbon. <gasps> Look at how cute it is. Doesn't that just make you happy? Look at how stinking cute that is. I can't wait to send this out. This is adorable. Okay, I'm getting lots of no ribbons. I'm getting some with ribbons. Hmm. I don't know. I think my ribbon is gonna get kind of lost, but it does have some bling in it, you guys. It's kind of pretty. I'm going to try it. We can always take it off, right? But I kind of am going along with no ribbon. But I'm going to try the ribbon because it's pretty. And I love pretty things. <laughs> yes, I love the pretties. I love the blingies. Okay, I'm just going to tie this in a knot right here. And I've got two rolls of this. So if I don't like it, we can always cut it off. I do kind of like it. What do you guys think? With a little bit of bling, just a little bit. Let me get my scissors, cut this off. It's pretty cute. All right, you guys really helped me out with this. I love this card. I think that is super cute. Look at my cute camera maker. Oh, she goes, oh, yeah. Isn't it cute? So that was just a last minute thought. I thought, I want to make something Halloween-y. So remember, the spider and the ghosts and the trick-or-treat come from the cutest Halloween set and the Halloween punch. And then the wreath and the bats are from the um, sparkle of the season. So I just want to make sure that I'm not misleading you that all this stuff comes in one stamp set because that is certainly not what I intend to do. Okay, we're going to clean these up. And I had somebody watch me clean these and say, does that really get them clean? Yeah. Whoops. It really does. It really, really, whoops. Really, really works. <laughs> Hang on. Brr, I got to get my stamp to say. It really works. It's a fantastic. The chamois is the best cleaner ever. Elaine says she loves the ribbon. Debbie says, yes, the ribbon. Uh, Jerry says, keep it. Now that you put it on, Sherry likes it. Oh my gosh, you guys. And Pat says, just enough bling. It does look good with the ribbon, Marcia says. Thank you, guys. Yep, we can always try, right? 
I like it with the ribbon too. Okay, let me get this out of the way here. I'm gonna put these back in here. We might use black again, but we're not using purple again. We can put this away and this away and this away, and now we're gonna do fun folds. Oh, I'm excited to show this to you guys. It's really cool. So I actually did a mystery stamping. I do mystery stamping every month with my team. And um, I just posted a new one for my team members today. And then we have a team meeting on Tuesday night where I will show them what the mystery stamping project looks like from my end. But everybody takes all of the dimensions and all the things that I tell them um, you know, to use some colored cardstock and some designer paper, and it needs to be cut and scored at this, and maybe um, a die or a label, and then they make a card without knowing what they're supposed to be making. It's super, super fun. So, this was, hang on, this was the fun fold layout from my mystery stamping at my last team meeting last month. And maybe I'll share the one that I'm gonna do Tuesday night with my team meeting with you guys soon. But we're gonna be using the Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. And I love the beautiful colors in here. Um, I love this for fall, but it doesn't have to be fall at all. So that's what I really like about it. So let me get out all my bits and pieces here. We're gonna bring in the stitched, hang on, the stitched, rectangle. They're called rectangle stitch dies. That's why I was trying to move that so I can see what it's supposed to say. Love these dies. We're going to be using those. I've got the essential Baker's Twine essential pack here. Their black comes in here too, but this one is empty of black because I used it all. But you get five different rolls of Baker's Twine in various colors. <sighs> then I think we're going to decide because I haven't actually made this part either. We're gonna figure out if we're gonna use this fine art ribbon. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I think it's gonna match our project, along with the Gilded Gems. I've got Pear Pizzazz, Early Espresso, and Calypso Coral ink here. My stamps. And here comes my bits and pieces. So I decided to use this layer for my envelope. And we're gonna put that on first thing. Oh, hey, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is my new host code. I just um, created the new code before I came on here live tonight. So Stampin' Up! has changed things for us. And the way that I am able to give away door prizes to you guys is by people using this code if your order is under $150. Because Stampin' Up! gives rewards for orders over $150. I don't want you to use the code if your order's over $150. If it's under and you use this code, I get the credit like I'm having a party. And what that does for me is it allows me to replenish all my cardstock and embellishments and ribbons and stuff like that, but it also allows me to order dough prizes for you guys to give away, and I love doing that. So if you can use this code, Stampin' Up! doesn't allow us to call and get the code switched over to your order. If you are in my Technique Club, you need to be using that code every time. So just know that. Okay, here comes all of our bits and pieces. So what we're going to do first, isn't that envelope pretty? Yeah. What we're going to do first is we're going to take a piece of Designer Series paper. I chose this pattern. You're gonna cut it eight by 10 and a half. Oh my gosh, right? Then you can take the designer paper and cut a strip that is one and a half by 10. But for my purposes today, for this card, I'm gonna be using cardstock instead of designer paper. But you could certainly use designer paper for the one and a half by 10. This is gonna be a belly band. All right, next up. Oh, I need to see if this is the right size. Let me grab my paper trimmer here. Because I, oh, no, I think, oh, yeah. No, uh, no this is a scrap. Okay, we're okay. All right, um, I got a little confused. <laughs> now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to do some scoring. So, we are going to score. This is 8 by 10 and a half. We're gonna put it in here like this and we're gonna score it at four. 
what we're making here is a pocket card and I hope you guys are gonna love this this is gonna really help you use up your designer paper so you are not hoarding it anymore then we're going to turn it this way and we're gonna score it at five and a quarter okay don't push too hard on designer paper because you'll rip it hi Andy Aquisto now what you're gonna do is you're going to take your designer paper and if you need to you can fold on your score lines so it's oh this is cut wrong hang on this needs to be eight by ten and a half and this is oh it's eight and a half it should be eight by ten and a half so this needs to fold directly in half just like this so we scored it at four okay four then we scored it at five and a quarter Okay, just like that. So now we've got four quarters here. We're gonna cut this one out. So if you've been hoarding your designer series paper, this is going to help you with your problem. <laughs> We're gonna go all the way down to this score line. And you can do this with your scissors, of course, but I like using my um, paper trimmer because I know that line is gonna be straight and not jiggity and jaggedy. I'm, I'm not that great of a cutter of straight lines. I can cut out fussy cut stuff, but not so much on the straight lines. Okay, you can use this for something else. We don't need it. I need to put a new blade in my cutter. It's getting a little frayed there. Okay, now we are going to fold this down. I'm going to trim this off just a touch too, because I see that my scoring isn't that good. I don't want to see that. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm just going to trim it a little bit. But before I do that, I'm going to also fold this over. And I see that I need to trim a smidge off this edge. So hang tight. I'm going to grab my trimmer. I'll be right back. Take a drink. And here we go that looks much better this looks much better okay I actually cut this the wrong way <laughs> so we're gonna have our pocket go the other way and I'll show you two different ways I want this to be the outside of my card don't worry we're good okay make sure you burnish your fold lines really good now what we're gonna do here is we are going to pull this layer back until it meets right up with the side here. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna burnish that edge good, just like that. And then we have this. Okay, other pieces that you're going to need. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of early espresso. And that is going to go on the back for our base. And isn't that cool looking? I love these colors together. So we can add this right away. And we're gonna put that right on here. There we go. Then what we have here is a pocket, right? But before we glue that down, I've got a little half inch piece of our gold foil. It is a cool fold, right, Tanya? Now, this is just a half inch piece. And if you stick it up to here, you can see that it doesn't work very good. We need to cut this at a little bit of a slant, just like that, okay? And now it's gonna tuck up in there so we can glue this down. I'm gonna cut it at a little bit more of a slant. Just do it until it works right. And there it is, right there. So we're gonna glue this in there. And I'm just going to take a little line of glue and put it right on this edge. Then we're gonna set it down in here. Hang on, it wiggled on me. Keeps wiggling on me. There we go. I just want it to be straight. Look how pretty that is, right? That's just a little bit of fancy on the inside. Love it. Okay, now we can glue this down 
I'm gonna put some glue right here. We're gonna glue this flap down. Doesn't need to go any place. And then we need to do some gluing here, right? Now you wanna make sure that you keep your glue way to the outside. What can you put in this pocket? Well, you can make a little card insert to write on, or you can put a gift card in there. That would be a good idea. Gift card and a little insert would be great. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna decorate the outside and do the belly band. So, I have a piece of basic white here and I am going to take, let's see, I think we used the third largest rectangle and we're gonna die cut this, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, we're still using the same time-worn time type embossing folder, okay? And we are going to take the piece that we die cut here and we're gonna emboss it. Once we do that, this is what we have. We have the nice stitching around the outside edge and this embossed layer. I'm gonna look and make sure, yep, this is right side up. While you can't really read what's on here, you can see that the letters are right side up. So just make sure you pay attention to that. Remember how good this looked on our Halloween card? Well, now we're gonna use it for a fall card. Okay, so let me put this away. The other thing we're gonna use out of the rectangle stitch dies is this die for our sentiment. So I'm gonna set that right there. Okay, we got that done. Now, we're gonna take a whole bunch of little elements here. I've got all these scraps, and let me tell you what colors they are. We've got Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Gold Foil, Bumblebee, Crumb Cake, and Pear Pizzazz. I'm going to use the um, Early Espresso ink, and I'm gonna stamp my Grateful right there. Um, hang on. And then, where did the, oh, here's the die. We're gonna take the die and we're gonna cut it out like this. So I wanna leave a, I don't, I, ha, I, don't, I haven't centered it, I wanna leave a bunch of space over here, okay? So we're gonna die cut that. And hang on while I get my little bits and pieces out here. When we do that, it looks like this. Okay, so we'll just set that right up there. Then we need a whole bunch of pieces. So I'm gonna show you the other pieces that I die cut. We're going to do the fall with the leaves on it. We're gonna do that on the um, Cajun Craze. And here comes that. We are going to do it on the Early Espresso. And here comes that. We're also going to, here's all these bits and pieces. This little tassel or broom. <laughs> We're gonna do two of those on gold. And those look really pretty. It really is a witch's broom, but I'm using it for a tassel. So it can go for anything. And here comes another one. So two of those out of gold. Let me put, I need to put this die away before I lose it. And then we are going to do, we've got all of these. We're gonna do some pumpkins. We're gonna do pumpkins in bumblebee. Where'd that scrap go? I don't know where it went. I had a bumblebee scrap here, didn't I? Yep, there it is. We're gonna do bumblebee, calypso, not pear pizzazz, bumblebee, calypso, and Cajun craze pumpkins. So let's get those over here. Here's bumblebee, Cajun, and calypso. So we've got all of those here. And then we're gonna do some leaves. We have one more thing to stamp. There's this little leafy deal in here. And I am going to grab a little scrap of white and I'm gonna stamp that with pear pizzazz. So this card is super easy to make. 
but it's all getting all the things, all the elements ready, right? So what I recommend is you just die cut a whole bunch of things in a color scheme that you like and then start putting it together. Because the other thing we're gonna do is we've got these little leaves right here. And we're gonna die cut those in pear pizzazz. They cut two at a time. So we've got pear pizzazz, we have um, Cajun Craze and Bumblebee. Where's my piercing mat at? Right here. I'm just gonna set these on here so we don't lose them. Okay. And then this is the pumpkin that I want. That one's already got color on it. So we're gonna die cut this, and there is a die in the dies. Oh, I keep losing them. They're right here for Pete's sakes. There's a die in here that will cut out these leaves. So we're gonna do that. And it's gonna look like this. I'll set these over here now. And I think we are ready for assembly. One thing I want to do is I want to take this little pumpkin. I just threw my leaves someplace. Oh, here they are. Did you guys see me? I just threw them all off. That was going to make me really crazy. Hang on while Kelly picks up all of her leaves. My goodness. Okay, we're gonna take the bumblebee leaves and the bumblebee pumpkin, and I've got a sponge dauber here, right here, and we're going to use Calypso Coral Ink, and we're gonna add a little color to these because that's gonna make them look really neat. So, just tap, tap, just a little bit of color on the edge of our bumblebee leaves and you might think like ah do you really need to do that yeah you do it's really pretty and we're gonna do the same thing on this pumpkin I'm just gonna swirl around the outside edge of it and I'm telling you it's gonna be worth it okay ready look how pretty that is and then look at how pretty those leaves are with that little bit of calypso on them totally worth it okay I think we're ready. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have my strawberry lemonade. Oh, Becky wants to know the color of my um, fingernail polish. It's Blackberry Bliss, and it's got gold glitter on it. Can you see the gold glitter? I do that on these two fingers. Blackberry Bliss. It's very pretty. It's number forty-four. <laughs> And I use acrylic when I go to the salon. I know lots of people are doing that powder dipping SMS and I do not like it. So I use, I still use acrylic. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready for this? We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our grateful. And I'm just gonna throw three of them on here. Mini dimensionals. And then we are going to glue down our wreaths. So let me get my take your pick tool. I have a few little bits to get out of here yet. These die cut really nice, you guys. I'm surprised for being such an intricate die that they don't have a lot more stuff that stick into them, but they do really well, at least on my machine they do. Oh, I see hard apple cider, Dr. Pepper Zero. Julie says, my nails are very pretty. Thank you so much, Julie. I had to go get them done last week because they, one of them broke when I was changing the bedding or making the new beds for the, the girls. Okay, isn't this pretty? That's already pretty, right? So we're gonna do that. And again, just like we did on the last card, we're gonna just add some glue on the bigger spots on the back of this. Now you could get your sponge dauber out and your glue and you could put glue on the back of the whole thing, but I don't really think it's all that necessary. So we're gonna go just like that. How about if we center it a little better? <laughs> Uh-oh, it says live video has been interrupted. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. Did you guys have an interruption? My internet must be pulling hard. Uh, not yet. I'm not, um, <laughs> Jody saw me do that. 
I'm not um, having too many issues here. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this down in here. We need to decide where our sentiment is gonna go. So let's get that out. Here comes our sentiment. And what I like to do is just kind of tuck the stuff in behind it. We should probably wait to take these off. Okay, everybody's saying I'm fine. I'm back now for a second. I was gone for a second, now I'm back. Okay, so this is gonna go right in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie my bow. I want it to be underneath my sentiment layer. So this is the crumb cake from the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. And I'm just gonna grab a couple pieces that are, where's my ruler? I'll tell you guys how long this is gonna be. They're about nine inches long. You want two pieces about nine inches long. Just like that. Okay, so I've got two pieces here and I am going to get the hair out of my mouth <laughs> and tie a bow. I got a fan blowing hair in my mouth. But I still have my crown on in case anybody wondered. <laughs> I do stamp better with it. So there's that. Okay, here we go. I want these to be just a little bit bigger bows. Oh, look how nice that looks, right? Well, you can't even see it because my fingers are in the way. There we go. I love this twine. Okay, so we're gonna take a glue dot, which is right here, and I'm gonna grab a glue dot, and I'm gonna put this right down here like this, okay? Then we are going to grab our little leaves, and we're gonna use glue dots to put them on because I just found that it worked really good and so what I like to do here's a little tip for you I like to take these tiny little items and stick them to the glue dots right on the paper I hope I've got this in the camera so you can see it but that way it kind of keeps track of them you don't have to place them until you have them all ready to go hang on isn't that a nifty idea okay here we go. Now, here comes our pumpkins. I'm gonna do the same thing to our little, <laughs> hang on, little brooms. Put a little glue dot on the back there. Oh, I can leave that right there. Then here comes the next one. There's another glue dot. And here comes one of our little pumpkins surprised it's not over yet but I'm surprised I haven't lost anything yet here there's another one look at all those isn't that fun and here comes another one yay okay did I put glue on this all right here we go Steve just came in what is that what are those Costco chicken nuggets Costco chicken nuggets he's bringing me, you guys. How sweet is that? He must think I'm looking skinny. <laughs> I forgot to put this on, didn't I? Hang on. I don't know. Did I stick it on? I can't even remember. We're going to stick it on, though, so hang on. Got to offset it a little bit. You don't want your leaves to be on top of your leaves, so they're kind of hiding everything, right? Get that out of there. Sorry about that. I kind of completely forgot. Yay, Lois says she just got her dyes, so now she knows what to do with them. Woohoo! All right, I am going to stick this. Let me put this back down here. Put that right there. There we go. Okay, we're going to stick this little thing right in here, and I'm just going to tuck it in here. Just like that. It'll just stick down. Okay, now here comes the fun. So we're gonna do the grateful is gonna go right over. Let's see, I'm gonna put it right over my bow. I wanna make sure that I get it straight on here. Eh. Straight on my layer. That's what I'm kind of looking at. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to take one of these little brooms 
and I'm gonna put it right in here like this and another little broom doesn't that gold just really like pop I think it's so pretty now if you find that it's hard for you to stick your little brooms under here you can certainly cut them off so that they will work okay there I just stuck stuck that in there and here comes a little pumpkin we're just gonna tuck that right down in here here comes another pumpkin and I'm gonna tuck that right in here right there we are going to take this little pumpkin that has a pretty color on it and we're gonna put it right over here and now we're gonna grab these leaves and we're gonna put them all over our wreath isn't that cool Oh, do we have a troll? What did she say? She has haters, trolls, because she's popular. Yeah, sometimes there are trolls. And um, Haley, if you can take care of them, just report them and they'll go away. So there's always somebody got to spoil your fun, right? Just ignore them, you guys. They, they, they tend to feed on attention. So if we don't give them any attention, then they'll be fine. They'll go away. All right, I don't know if I really need. Well, I'll just put it right there. Here comes my other bumblebee one. Thank you, Haley. Appreciate it. Look at, look at, what do you guys think? Isn't it so pretty? I am in love with this. Okay, now the other thing that I think I might need to do. So. We haven't even done, get, gotten to the card yet. Hang on, I just got a glue dot all over my pretty nails. Where'd our card go? Right here. Okay, so we need to make a belly band, right? But I think what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I am going to cut out a piece of early espresso. And I hadn't planned on that, but I just think it's gonna help make my layer a little more stable. So I'll give you the dimensions on that. This is, this is three by four and a quarter. So I'm gonna make this three and a quarter by four and a half. And I'll put that in with the written instructions. By the way, all the projects that I make are then put onto my blog, either tonight or tomorrow morning, right here, www.estampabove.com. And then um, you'll find all the dimensions and still photos for these projects on there. So you can go look at it and you can recreate it very easily. And the video will be on there too if you need to, you know, re-watch something. Like get the John update. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cool it is. Right? Okay. Now, this is our pocket card, remember. Okay, so we're still working on this. Here comes our belly band. I am going to grab my tear and tape because I really like to use that when I'm doing belly bandy things. We're gonna do a belly band just like this and I'm just gonna make it meet in the front of the middle. Fold and fold and that turned out really good. Now we're gonna put the tear and tape on there and I use this because it's much stronger than regular adhesive, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit right on this edge that's gonna be the underneath layer, and a little bit on this edge that's gonna be the over the top layer. I'm gonna go boom, just like that. Now you don't wanna pull this too tight either because if you pull it too tight, it's not gonna slide off your project and people need to get in, need to get into the card, right? So. It needs to be slidey. Don't get it too tight. Hang on, I just got it awkward there. Okay. And then we're going to put this on, but before we do that, we have ribbon. Where did it go? Ribbon. Remember I showed it to you. Oh, here it is, right here. We're going to put some ribbon on here because this is going to be spectacular. So I'm going to use tape right like that. And this is going on that belly band, so we're going to just tape it like this. And again, this is that, um, what is it called? Fine Art Ribbon. Okay, and now we're going to use 
dimensionals. And I just want to skip placement here. Dimensionals just on the belly band, okay? So we're gonna do boom, boom. You wanna make sure that you got them good and sturdy. So I'm using, I'm gonna use six. I don't want this to fall apart because we already got a lot invested in it, right? What did Sue say? I have the wreath bundle, Kathy says. Yay, stunning fall card, Betty. Thank you so much. I know, I had a lot of fun with this. Like, this was a lot of fun to create. Okay, ready? This is gonna go, oh my gosh, is it not so pretty? Pretty, pretty! Okay, then, I have some of these. And I thought, well, I don't know if we really need to bling it up, but as long as I have them, I'm thinking, why not? Let's check it out. We can always pull them off if we don't like them, right? Yeah, we're getting crazy tonight with these cards. Oh, that's so pretty. I just love the gold. And, I, and since I put the gold brooms or tassels in there, I thought this would go just perfect. Look at that. Ah, now, we still have just a tiny bit of work to do on the inside because what's happening in here? Oh, I have it upside down. Phew. Um, we, we have a pocket. So again, you can put a card insert in there or do whatever you want. But one thing I thought would be nice is we've got grateful on the front here, and then I use the thankful for you stamp on the inside right here, thankful for you, and then I thought maybe, let's see, um, where did that green go? Here's my green, we could do a little bit of this. Oops, get that out of here. How about just a touch of leaves? Maybe like that, bless you. And this can go right on here. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna put this on with glue. And let's see, do I have, let me see if I got a little piece of cardstock here that'll fit in here. Well, that fits pretty good. It's a little tall. Let me cut that off. All right, so you could attach a gift card to this. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Isn't this just crazy pretty? Now, this is a lot, right? Like we did a lot of stuff here. And this is, if I do say so myself, pretty darn spectacular, not gonna lie. But you could make this simple, simple Simon, okay? It does not have to be all of the things. You could um, stamp an image on here, stamp a sentiment, tie some ribbon on it, and call it a day. You don't have to get this crazy, but I do encourage you to try and get a little crazy because this sparkle of the season is crazy beautiful, right? And this is a really neat way. Use up that cardstock, buy two packs so you don't feel like you're chintzy with it, and use up all that designer series paper that you have so you can buy newer patterns, trendier patterns, so you feel justified in getting some new stuff because I know we all love new. At least I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out in the um, cyber world analytics. I really appreciate that. So now we have two cards using the sparkle of the season. And are you guys going to get sick of me if I show you another card with Sparkle of the Season? Are you up for that? Let me get all, some of the stuff cleaned up here. It's kind of messy, right? We get kind of messy when we're stamping. Oh, I missed a little leaf here. <gasps> Can I have another one here? Let's put that on the inside. Don't you think that's a good idea? Maybe right there. Oh, I don't know if I like it. Oh, well. <laughs> Connie says she loves craziness. Oh, Peggy, thank you so much. Stunning Funful. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. This is a beautiful bundle. Like, I'm not kidding. You're going to be making some absolutely amazing cards with this. And, of course, you guys know I appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business, keeps me showing you new ideas. Are we ready for one more card? Are you guys up for it? Hang on. Uh, 
let's set these aside. More cards, more cards. Go for another, Deb says. Cynthia says, more cards. Show away, please. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. This is Heartwarming Hugs, okay? This is a designer series paper that I believe was in our holiday mini catalog last year and Stampin' Up! carried it over for another season, which I love because I love these bright traditional Christmas colors. So we are going to be making another fun fold card with this particular paper. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to, did I do it wrong too? Yep, <laughs> me and Jody both cut it wrong. That's okay. This is the one Jody designed for me while I was designing the fall one. She designed this one. Okay, but yours is cut much better than mine. <laughs> yours lines up, mine didn't. So she did a really good job. Okay, so here's our piece. And again, you guys, this was eight by ten and a half. It scored at five and a quarter and four inches. And then you cut this quarter out. We don't need that. We're gonna fold this over and bring it back just like this. Now, I should share the cards that my team made with you guys in the mystery stamping because we had a ton of different ideas here. It was crazy. Okay, so there we go with that. And now we're gonna bring in all the little elements that Jody has ready for me. Okay, we're gonna use this for our um, envelope flap. We're going to decorate that up in true fashion, in true Kelly fashion. We're going to get that envelope decorated because I am bound and determined to use designer series paper so that I can get new stuff when it comes out. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to feel any guilt, no guilt, no guilt. And then you should buy some designer series paper from me so that you have new stuff too, and I will not make you feel guilty at all. <laughs> Did you like that? You have my permission. <laughs> okay, isn't that pretty? Traditional plaid, green and red. This is our belly band. This is one and a half by 10. And we're using designer series paper this time. This is Mossy Meadow. It is going to be our back ground, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And we are going to put some glue on here. Hang on, my crown is falling down. <laughs> it's getting in my eyes. We can't have that. Here we go. I've got one more card to sh show you. I'm not gonna make another card. This is our last card, but I've got one more card to show you that's absolutely gorgeous with the same fold. Okay, so here we go. Now, I want, I got a little strip of red here. And I'm gonna bring that out because I just thought that would look pretty right here. Oh, that's not the right size, man. That's not the piece that I had. Da, 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 da. Oh, I might have lost it. Hang on, I got more red. Here we go. I just want a half inch piece of red. Just like this. And I'm gonna put it right here. So it's gonna give us that little border there. So I'm gonna cut that off, see how it's looking here. Oh, that's perfect. And then we're gonna put some glue behind here. I don't know if it's a good idea to put glue all over here yet or not. We're going to find out whether you should do it. <laughs> I'll let you know what a mistake it was, right? Okay, there we go. That turned out perfect. We're going to trim this off. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? Okay. Now, this little piece right here... Oh, let's bring in, we're using the Tasteful Label dies, and that's where this label comes from. We've got real red ink, some stamps, and some sheer red ribbon. Okay, so here was the piece I was looking for, right there. 
It was in there, I just didn't see it. All right, and we need pear pizzazz. Where did that go? Right here. Okay. So, um, we are, let's see, we're gonna set that over here. We're gonna bring all these bits and pieces out. And again, this is still the same bundle. We are going to take this layer and we're gonna add it on dimensionals. So hang tight. Dimensionals. This is real red and mossy meadow. Now the mossy meadow is cut out of the con the scalloped contour dies. And the real red is I think two and a half by three and three quarters. Yes. Okay, thank you, Jody. So that's gonna layer right inside our um, scalloped stitching. Just like that. Yay! Okay, isn't that pretty? All right, so now we're gonna start doing some things. Inside of our dies is this particular evergreen wreath. So we're gonna take a couple of those and put them right on here. So I'll just add a little bit of glue to the bigger pieces again. Just look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love this. This is pear pizzazz the wreath is so then it really pops on here it doesn't get blended in with the other mossy meadow and we're gonna offset this just a little bit make it a little fuller oops and there we go and then we have all these little bits and pieces here is a label for our sentiment. So we're going to take the Real Red and the Merry Christmas. And again, this is right from the sparkle of the season. We're going to do a Merry Christmas. Oh, I love photopolymer, don't you? <laughs> it just makes life easy. We're going to just trim this off right over here. This is a half inch strip. And then that's what this other red strip was for. So we're going to add this to it. Push that right down to the end. So this is about mm, half inch, uh, probably five eighths inch. Whoops, hang on, I got it crooked. There we go. And then we're gonna trim that right at the edge. We're gonna add some dimensionals to the back. Everybody's so quiet. Are you guys breathing? Is everybody still breathing? I don't want anybody to pass out. So now we have early, oops, I just dropped one. Here it is. Early espresso pine cones here. Let's get this. I'm going to mount this first so we know where we're going to go with everything else. I hear from Lois. She says, so pretty. Thank you, Lois. I'm glad Lois is still breathing. All right, we're going to put this right in the middle. And then we're going to start tucking these little buggers in. Now you can use mini glue dots again if you wanted. That certainly is a good option, but I'm just going to go here with the glue. These are little pine cones. There is a stamp. You could stamp these pine cones too, but the die is in there and you can die cut them. So here comes another little pine cone. And then we have the holly leaves. So let's take a little bitty look at those. The other thing that I wanted to let you know that we have is <laughs> Jody's giggling. This was not her favorite. Is these little dots. There's a whole little die in here that cuts out little dots. Okay, so that's also included in here. Now, what I'm going to do, Jody's going to hate on me, but it's okay. I'm a big girl, I can handle it. <laughs> she just said perfect. She's not mad. I am going to use some of our red rhinestone basic jewels because these are fabulous. You get 220 of them in a pack, like holy cannoli, right? 
Okay, now we're gonna take and we're gonna put some little leaves here. These are, oops, the little, little cute little holly leaves. I love these things. And either way is good. There's no right or wrong to this. I'm just gonna stick them down in here like this. And then, oops, my pine cone just came off. Hang on. I got glue on my fingers that's making everything stick together. Here comes the little holly berries with the rhinestones. And I'm just gonna put three on right away because I like three. Just like that. I got something on that one. There we go. Hang on, my crown is falling off again. <laughs> crown problems seem to be pretty serious tonight. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's another little one. And we're just gonna put that right in here. And I'm gonna use one little rhinestone. This is also bringing us in a little bit of bling, right? And then one more. And you can put as many of these on as you want. But I'm just going to, how about we do one right there. And pop in a little rhinestone. <gasps> what do you guys think? Is that not the cutest thing ever? Okay. So, the other thing we need to do, this is going to go on our belly band. So, let's close this. Oh, we're going to need that still, I think. Yep, we are. Um, on this label that is basic white, we are going to stamp, may the sparkle of the season warm your heart and home. And we're going to do that in real red, just like this. Ah, very pretty. And then we're going to take some of these other elements and we're gonna stamp them on here. So we've got these pine bows in the sparkle of the season. And I'm just gonna bring that in just like that. And how about maybe right up like this. And then we've got these little ivy leaves. Now I'm gonna stamp them over the words. So I'm gonna stamp off once before I do those, okay? I want them to be a little bit lighter. Again, this is pear pizzazz. <gasps> Now, doesn't that just really make that spectacular? Like it does so much for it. Okay, now we can close these up. I'm gonna put the card together. Then I have one more Christmas card that I'm just gonna show you. We're not making another one, but I'm gonna show it to you because it's so pretty. Let's see, we need a little piece of white. I'm just gonna put this in here. You can put a card insert in here. Um, this is where the label's gonna go, is right here. So that's gonna be pretty, right? I'm just going to add some glue and put that right in here. Ah, I love it. I love that on the inside. And now we're going to do our belly band. So we're going to use this side, which is going to be a nice contrast, right, to the other designer series paper. Remember, this is the heartwarming hugs. So I like to start in the middle. And again, don't pull it too tight because you need this to slide on and off. And I'm just gonna trim this up just a little bit. And we're, here's tear and tape. I'm still gonna use tear and tape. You don't really need it with designer series paper, but I don't like my stuff falling apart. So I'm just gonna err on the safe side here. More so with cardstock is it's more necessary. And it has to do with the fibers and the grain of the paper always wanting to pop back to its original versus the way you folded it. That's why it's important. There's a whole history thing behind it. Just trust me. <laughs> okay, this is slidey, right? We need it to stay slidey. Then we're going to use our dimensionals. Whoops, where's our big ones? Right here. Okay, oh my gosh, this is so pretty, you guys. Jody! You did a fabulous job. This is such a fun, fun fold. Yep. Okay, here we go. One more in the middle. And, oh, I forgot the ribbon. Let's tear that one off. Hang on. <laughs> Leave it up to me, I can fix it. I think what we're gonna do here is, yep, I'm gonna put it right around here. We're gonna go right around here. This is our sheer red ribbon. And I wanna tie it in a bow this time. So that's why I've got a much longer piece over here. 
And yeah, this looks really nice. We weren't sure if we wanted to use this or the red ruffled ribbon or just what we wanted to use, but I'm gonna put a little bit of tape right here. And then we'll put that dimensional back. See, fixed it. And then we're going to tie this on the side in a nice little bow. Now this doesn't need to be untied, remember, because this is a belly band and it slides right off the card. Oh, love it. Boy, I tied a really good bow, didn't I? <laughs> Doesn't always happen, folks. Let's see if I can stab myself. I'll get a little blood on there. Ever do that? It's embarrassing. I used to do that when I was teaching classes in person all the time. It's like, ugh, oh, I've got to carry some band-aids around. Okay, I want this in the middle so that I can center this thing. <gasps> So pretty. Oh my good lord. Let me move all this crap out of the way so you can see all the gorgeousness. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. Oh, I forgot to do this. Look at that. Kelly. Put a little little bit of glue here. You want to put a little bit of glue on the bottom too. I don't remember if I did that in my hal or in my fall card. Because you don't want your things to fall through, right? Look at that. Gift card, little card insert, you can write on it, do the whole thing. Oh my good lord, this is amazing. Here we go. I love it. Do you guys love it? Ah, yeah, the ribbon really does. Look, Jody, the ribbon really does make it look stunning. She just said, somebody just said, Kathy said. Hey, don't forget the Wink of Stella. Oh yeah, Wink of Stella, wait. It was hiding in my little thing. Guess what? We're going to put Wink of Stella on the pine cones. That was Jody's idea. She's like, add a little Wink of Stella to the pine cones. That is a great, look at how pretty they are. I hope you guys can see this. I'll hold it up for you. Look at, oh my good Lord. So pretty. Yeah, isn't that something? Okay, you want to see the other card? Let's see if I can find it here in my mess of crazy. Uh -oh. oh, here it is. Hang on, the belly band's missing. I gotta get it put together. Oh, this is so pretty. What is this paper called? Peaceful? Peaceful Place. Peaceful Place. Look at this one, you guys. Oh, whimsy. This is the whimsical trees with the same scallop and the same layer here. This is that white glitter ribbon. Look at, look at how pretty that is. This is the Peaceful Place Designer Series paper. And oh, if you have any of that bedazzling from Celebration. And here's our little inside pocket. But isn't that pretty with the gray? Yeah. This was the actual, one of the actual, there's another card too, but I don't know where it went. This was one of the cards that we made that I showed my team. There's those red rhinestones again with the, um, Mystery stamping. So, you guys, if you're not getting a discount on your Stampin' Up! products, you need to be getting a discount. Join my team as a discount shopper. You will love it. I'm not kidding. It's like the funnest place to be. Look at all these. Aren't they spectacular? If I do say so myself, I think I kind of hit it out of the park. Jody did an amazing job. This is gorgeous. This is adorable. Whoa. How pretty, huh? Thank you guys so much. Now, don't forget, I always appreciate your orders. Here's my current host code. Please use that code in my online store. You'll find my online store right here. If you're watching later on YouTube, right up here in the corner is going to be a link, I hope. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Um, but there's going to be a link. <laughs> maybe there might be. There's going to be a link right under the video in the description that'll take you right to my blog, right to these cards. There's going to be a whole shopping list there where you can click on um, the Artful Ribbon and it'll take you right to my store to tell you all the details about it, how much it costs, all the things, and you can add it to your cart if you want to. Thank you guys so much. Sue says, what an amazing night. Thanks for sharing with us tonight. Sue, thank you so much for joining us. People are saying thank you, Jody, for the beautiful oh. card. 
Yes, yes. Barbara says you are 100%. You hit it out of the park for sure. I'm really impressed with these cards because I didn't start doing this till three o'clock today. I might have taken a nap. Not going to lie. <laughs> Apparently, I'm good on sleep, right? I can, I can maybe put something out when I'm sleeping. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you taking a little bit of time. Oh, mail. Thank you so much. Carrie said, don't forget your mail. Woohoo. I've also got, look what Steve brought me. I'll show these to you. The chicken nuggets. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't really like chicken nuggets. But I'm not going to tell him that because he's being sweet. <laughs> Here we go. We have a beautiful card from Mary Banky. Mary is from Menominee, Michigan. And she sent me this gorgeous, I love the simplicity of this thank you card with a little bit of bling on it says, thank you very much for the laser cut paper. It was nice of you. You can pick my name anytime, Mary says. I enjoy watching you. You make a difference every day. Thank you so much, Mary. You're so very sweet. Next up, we have Barbara Pike. Look at this. Here's a little fun fold, you guys. Look at this. What? Yeah, double. Thank you, thank you, thank you ever so much for another very fun retreat. You three amigos are the best. Looking forward to the next one. Barbara, thank you so much. We just cut off a virtual retreat last weekend that was amazing. And if you missed that, watch for the next one with our next new catalog. We'll have one again. So super fun. Oh, and Barbara made her own envelope out of cardstock. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here we have a little designer paper, and look at this. This was a beautiful paper pumpkin kit. This is coming from gorgeous, gorgeous thank you card. <gasps> Candy Shock, she says, thank you for, for my team builder gift. It was a surprise to receive it in the mail, and you are very welcome. Look what she did to the inside here. I really like that. This is beautiful. I loved this kit. Paper pumpkin. Oh, look at this cutie patootie. This is from Irene Cuts, and it says, today is a chocolate kind of day with a little bling on there. Thanks so much, Irene. She also received a door prize from our last team meeting, so you're very welcome, Irene. Last, but certainly not least, is Andy Aquisto. Uh-oh, hang on, my pumpkin just fell. Oh my gosh. I'm ruining Anne's shining time. <laughs> I know, we're giggling, right, Anne? And Diaquisto, you are amazing. Thanks. Look how pretty this is. Holy man, that laser cut thing is really cool. <gasps> Kelly, I love getting happy mail. The snowflakes were such a fabulous surprise. I love our team meetings, and Sunday Night Live is a highlight in my week. Wish I had more time to craft, but the time I do is precious. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, Anne, you're so sweet. And then she put, she did it right in her card. She says, I didn't sign this card before I sent it to you. Instead, it holds my warmest thoughts invisible, but true. So if you find you need to brighten someone's day, then take this card and sign it and send it on its way. And Anne, I do appreciate that. And I do use these cards over. So thank you so much for really um, thinking about that. I love it. And that is all my mail, you guys. Thank you for reminding me, too, about the mail. I hate it when I forget the mail because I love the mail. I get a lot of great ideas from you guys, like such pretty cards, right? Okay, that's it for Sunday night. What time is it? What time is it? 8.32. 8.32. I did really good. I thought this was going to take me forever, and I would keep you guys on here a little too long because I know people have to go to bed, right? But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Please make sure you take a look at my blog there's a subscription on there where you can subscribe to it so every time I add something new you'll get an email in your email inbox and it'll have the pictures and the whole deal in it which is pretty sweet and also under this video on YouTube you're gonna find a place to sign up for my newsletter I have a 12 weeks of Christmas series starting very soon and that is only for my newsletter subscribers now, if you're on my team, don't worry. I see Ann and Ginger on here. If you're on my team, you definitely get my newsletter. So you'll get the 12 weeks of Christmas with really cool holiday ideas. Um, but if you're not on my newsletter, you need to get on my newsletter. 
go look on the YouTube underneath. Every single video I post has a link to sign up for my newsletter. So if you guys have any questions about that, don't hesitate to ask. And I think I'll stop now. Yeah. <laughs> have a great week. I'll be back next Sunday, October 10th at 7 p.m. Central Time where we are going to have a whole bunch more fun. I don't know what we're going to be making, but if it's any indication what we did tonight, it's going to be a blast, right? Yeah. And I'll have a full John report too. We don't want to miss that. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye.